today we're going to be making a keychain. Uh, this is the example of what you're going to be making, something like this. Well, it does kind of look like a dog tag more than a keychain. It's just a rounded edge keychain with a border. So, you can either watch the YouTube video and a really like um, do a two times uh, X video and just understand what's going on and then do the instructions, which I find pretty useful. You can also just do the instructions and then watch the video for further details if you ever get stuck. Or just watch the video. All three are, uh, work well. So, as always, we first open uh, and create a new document. We select the top plane, press view normal 2, new sketch, select this plane. Then what we are going to do, we will create a box, right? Yeah. Try to make it most of the screen, but not all of the, uh, the sketch. Something like this. Then you're going to simply press this button up here, the offset button, just like we used before, to select, then select each of these sides. And offset it so it's big, it fits inside the sketch still, but it's large enough. And I believe that what I say is to have 0.5 inch distance. Um, so make sure that, that that's that little number right there. You might have to zoom in to see it better. As long as it's close to 0.5, it should be good enough. 0.52, good enough. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'll press enter now. Then we just draw a little circle. This circle will be the keychain part. And it really depends on what orientation or where you're attaching it to, where you want to put the dot. But for me, I'm going to be putting the dot, the circle, the hole, right there. Make sure that the edges of this circle and this line are not touching and there's a good distance in between each other. After that, you are going to put the text you want. And you can put your name, you can put whatever. Uh, as long as it's... Um, yeah. Check mark. And then I'm happy with the size. Um, again, it's not like uh, Onshape gives you that many uh, tools to make the text bigger. If there were, I don't really know how to, it works. So, it might work by before writing anything. I'm just I'm doing this by the way. You make the box really big. Like that. And I'm not really sure. It's just kind of finicky. So before, uh, just make sure your box, when you draw it out, is the correct size. So that's the size I want mine to be in. So that's good. Then to make sure, then 
to get it to be the correct size, you just push it over, like grab on one of the sides. There we go. You can also put the dimension to one line to another line there to keep that in position. Then you're able to um, no, you're still it's still not letting me do that. That's okay. And after this, it's just the same steps. We extrude parts of it and ex don't extrude some parts of it. So I'm going to select everything in the inner box except for the letters and the hole. Or actually, yeah, first we're going to be doing that in that order. One inch, is, one inch is too big, you never see a keychain that large. I'm going to just do a point 0.5 or a point, whatever, whatever suits you. Okay, then make sure to um, unhide the sketch on that side. Then I'm going to select the Oops. This letter, this letter. Make sure you're selecting in the middle of where that letter should be and you should be able to get it. And I want the frame, the outer part, to be the same height as this. So we're going to extrude them at the same time. Let's say it's maybe a little less than, or a little bit more than the other one. Like so. Then the final steps are again, I usually round it all the sides. You just click on the corners. You can also Round this part if you would like. You can round whatever you want, really. Doesn't matter. I don't even know. Can you even round the letters? That might be interesting. I never tried it. It does not let me. Go. And then, of course, I'm going to change the color. Make it like a greenish color for Yoda. Let's see, I didn't select. I select. You select all the faces. There we go. And then maybe I want the words to be different color. So select select so select select right click add appearance to four faces and let's make it a darker green like the Yoda green. That and that's a pretty cool looking keychain. Of course, it doesn't look like a traditional name tag keychain. Um, to do that might take a few more skills we haven't learned yet, but we're going to be adding on to our skills and we can come back to the keychain to make it more advanced. That's the end of this lesson on making and making a keychain in odd shape. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.